Greetings uh, everybody. 2021 has been a year filled with pain, loss and hardships for many. People have lost one's loved ones, jobs and some even hoping tomorrow. The wrath of this pandemic was felt by all but mainly by the poor, impoverished communities. During this time of difficulty we should celebrate the small wins and the big ones. If you look back, there's always something to be grateful for in the days that was past. The kindness of families, friends, neighbours and even strangers um, this year brought hope to the hopeless again. We as South Africans are very resilient in our diversity and it brings us closer together when it matters the most. We find reason to smile in each day during the pandemic. We survived even when the world attempted to cut us off. If you are here today, it's because you still have purpose. My New Year's commitment is to continue to serve and solve our people's problems, to give hope, to work with, alongside uh, our communities, inspiration for our youth, to implement community projects and to assist where I can. My purpose and role has been always one of service. In 2022, I will continue to build this on my core pillars of life. In 2021, we have fought many battles, but 2022 will focus on winning the war, not just the enemy of COVID, but poverty, unemployment and inequality. My message to each one of you for this New Year's Eve and New Year's is to practice kindness, just as we have practiced during this difficult period. I'd like to quote Maya Angelou perfectly when she says, I've learned that people will forget what you say, people forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. 2021 was a year of resilience. Let 2022 be a year of hope. Wishing you and yours and loved ones a happy and prosperous 2022. Godspeed.